hey guys welcome to my channel success sequence uh, in this today's video we are going to analyze a stock of cadilla healthcare uh, i am going to tell you a specific detail about the stock as, as to how this stock is behaving and it's very logical it's very simple you will able, you will be able to observe a particular behavior of this stock it's very easy to understand and it's very visual also so i hope uh, uh, this video will be very uh, useful to you and it will give you insights into how you can also analyze uh, the technicals and how you can also able to come up with your own strategies so i have done nothing i have just uh, created a particular chart that we have been using and then i have observed a particular moves that the stock has been making in the past and uh, based on that these data only we are going to predict its future as well so let us start uh, let us start with this particular stock so if you can see uh, the stock uh, was trading in a sort of broad range it came near its as you can see the 34 days exponential moving average this line is 34 days exponential moving average it came here it broke above its uh, resistance as you can see uh, here you can see uh, and the con final resistance uh, came here when the MACD crossed uh, crossed above its exponential average and the RSI also came above and at the same time you can also see that the exponential CCI is also got broken so on the higher side you can see that all the technicals uh, for the bullish uh, got confirmed then uh, stock did a good up move uh, stock came here faced some sort of resistance the next candle was not able to break the previous candles high fell down tested its 8 days exponential moving average came back again finally came down came up and here you can see the stock went quite nicely on the upside and now you can see here the stock faced resistance came back and finally broke and uh, came to its test its uh, 34 days exponential moving average and now you can see that uh, when the stock uh, breaks uh, from this uh, uh, stock when, when the stock breaks from the height breaks quite uh, nicely as you can see there is a big candle here so fell uh, to its 34 days exponential moving average and you can see on the uh, the this candle's high was a good resistance for the stock as you can see the previous uh, then the forward month's candle one two three four and five candles uh, got formed but was not able to uh, break on the higher side and when the finally stock uh, tasted is eight days exponential moving average next day uh, you can see a great a good sort of next month was a good very good month uh, we can got a good uh, uh, gains here uh, then you can see the stock went high uh, next uh, the high was exactly the previous highs of the stock so as you can see here these are the labels that were resistance here was also the resistance here as you can see the stock was not able to uh, go up to that particular level and uh, you can see the stock fell down sharply and as you can see the uh, till that uh, uh, till the time it came down uh, i mean it tested its eight days exponential moving average there was a great sort of downturn and then again stock tested its 34 days exponential moving average came up and tested its eight days exponential moving average as you can see and next month uh, you can see a great uh, sort of uh, up move here here you can see the, uh, the stock tested its eight days exponential moving average and there is a good gain here again the stock uh, the stock tested its eight days exponential moving average and the next month was a good gain and as you can see the again the resistance was this high so you can see the one and two months uh, it, it did took and in the third month it finally broke above its previous resistance as you can see here this was the resistance stock uh, broke it and as you can see there was a good upside gain and uh, here you can see some sort of rejection of prices so uh, going by the stock uh, history uh, we did see that the next candle was not able to break on the time side so you can expect uh, you must have expect that the stock was not going to uh, get on a higher side and as you can see the resistance was confirmed stock fell down sharply again tasted its 8 days exponential moving average and as you can see when it finally broke its 8 days exponential moving average you can see a big down move here same as it was here and uh, now the stock is uh, trading near is 34 days exponential moving average again so this was sort of broad pictures that the stock is doing for since uh, I, I would say uh, 2014 and in the previous data i also tested uh, tested the stock the stock is doing sort of things only so here you can see it took two candles to break from highs uh, some sort of uh, 
uh, some months was there which in which the stock was not able to break on the higher side uh, and then when it broken it uh, got a good high and the resistance was the previous candle high finally it broken on a higher side and now it has came down so uh, from this particular analysis uh, we can see uh, very clearly that uh, there are various scenarios that we can predict so now the stock is most likely as it it has been behaving in the past uh, is most likely will take a support at its 34 days exponential moving average we don't know uh, how much month it will take to again uh, break is 8 days exponential moving average but what uh, what is the confirmed here is that the this particular level uh, which uh, troubled the stock in the past which is 426 level will definitely uh, act as a strong resistance for the stock and once the this particular resistance will get broken you can see a good upside in the stock and again the next sort of uh, resistance for the stock will be 455.80 as you can see the stock was facing resistance previously in this particular range and once it broke this particular level you can expect a target on a higher side but as you can see here the stock was facing some sort of resistance so you might feel or might get a resistance level at around 515 and when the stock will break this particular level final target for the stock will be 561.73 so these are the sort of level and expectation we can derive from this uh, uh, stock and the uh, previously the behavior of the stock in the previous months so that is what i just uh, wanted to convey but what i was uh, trying to suggest is that if you understand the technicals specifically you will be able to better determine the stocks uh, future prediction so as you can see here the uh, the stock when the stock was testing its 34 days exponential moving average you can see that the cca was not that much negative i mean the 40 minus 40 is a maximum value that the cci has assumed so if the stocks falls below this uh, 34 days exponential moving average you can wait uh, and if the cci is taking support near minus 40 level you can wait in the stock because what happens is uh, when the stocks breaks is 34 days exponential moving average which was acting as a good support uh, uh, for the stock in the previous months so people uh, assume that now the stock is going to fall but that's not uh, uh, i feel the uh, correct way to analyze the stock you also need to consider the various other levels and i have not uh, suggesting that the you should consider cci only i'll show you uh, other uh, technical indicators that are also suggesting the support at a lower level so i think even if the stocks breaks down a bit a minus 40 uh, should uh, you should wait for uh, cci's uh, level of minus 40 to around and if this level also gets broken then you can take aggressive bearish position in the stock so as you can see there is a bearish crossover here also there was a bearish crossover so which is broadly suggesting that the the price will be uh, close at a lower level than its opening average so i did uh, made a video yesterday so if you have not seen that video i'll request you to please watch this video uh, so now let us uh, check the macd so as you can see let me just shrink the chart a bit as you can see here the stock has a good support it is 34 days exponential moving average and the macd has also a good support stock uh, fell uh, from and as you can see it broke its 34 days exponential moving average but as you can see here it it has not it did not broke its previous macd support so you can see from here stock uh, got a good high so and uh, there was a two points where the macd has a support for the stock here also you can see that the though the macd did broke the level but it immediately came back and the 50 uh, 34 days exponential moving average uh, was not broken however the levels were broken but the exponential moving average level was not broken so both the things you need to consider and then analyze the thing simultaneously so as you can see uh, as soon as the stock uh, um, uh, remained on a higher side and broke the resistance level you can see a bullish cross over here and a confirmation and the next target as i suggested you uh, you know that the what are the uh, target that the stock was expecting on a high side uh, so now as you can see the stock is now trading at its crucial support level so if you match the macd uh, level you can see that there is a good sort of support for the stock here here you can see so it is most likely that the stock will uh now come back and uh, come back from the lower levels and make a move on a higher side most likely the stock will go on a higher side 
because the MACD level is also uh, suggesting a support CCI is uh, still on a higher side and it can go as, uh, as short as uh, minus 42 and uh, there is a good sort of support so even if the stock falls uh, minus 42 level uh, till the time there is a level of minus 42 is getting hold on uh, CCI level you can uh, hold this stock if you have made any sort of bullish position uh, on a lower side if you see RSI RSI is also suggesting a strong support for the stock let me just show you so here you can see and the stock is trading at this level here you can see uh, there is a good support for the stock the stock went quite nicely higher on higher side uh, here is also support stock went nicely and if you just match the line you can see that the here the stock had a good support on the lower side and in the previous occasion also you can see that the stock has uh, uh, stock did had a good sort of support on the previous occasions as well so uh, all in all what i am trying to suggest is that the stock uh, is most likely uh, will go on the uh, upside but you need to wait and um, what i feel is the stock is a buy from here uh, the kerala is a buy from here and uh, the target as i suggested on the upside can be achieved but you need to monitor the option chart data also because remember as i said the most important part is the option option data because you need to calibrate your trade accordingly so if you see uh, some sort of aggressive bias position getting formed in the in this month's next month's and uh, uh, the uh, upcoming month as well so uh, next three months data if you see a good bearish position getting formed on a lower data uh, it suggests that the stock will not be able to hold on to its level but if you see there is a not uh, uh, aggressive bearish position is getting formed in the option data you can also check the future if you want or and if you see there is a sort of uh, support that is getting formed or put trading is happening at a lower level this will also act as a good uh, a good uh, confirmation of your analysis so let me conclude Kerala healthcare is trading near 34 days exponential moving average if you observe the stock's behavior in the past most likely the stock will trade either on a range bound side from here or on an upside so if you want to trade on a range bound side you can sell put but put selling will be a risky strategy because if the stocks uh, falls uh, stock gets uh, some sort of tip from here which is most likely because the uh, cci 40 level is not yet achieved so what i suggest you should wait if you see some sort of bullish position get uh, gets formed here the 401 uh, will be a good sort of support from you uh, for you and 390 uh, so level will be a stop loss for you if you want to trade this particular stock on a higher side but watch out for the cci's minus 42 value i think the stock is a good support from here a uh, few months of uh, range bound market and as soon as it breaks 435 level you can see a definitely up move and the levels i have already suggested to you the so the most likely in uh, as you can see i cannot suggest the months uh, uh, or the time it will take to go on a high side but i think the stock has a good support and if you understand the technicals well you can definitely uh, ride the stock from uh, 400 to as you can see 560 kind of levels so i hope uh, my videos did made uh, uh, science to you and i think uh, uh, the analysis that i am suggesting makes uh, uh, makes very sensible uh, a sensible representation of uh, market participants behavior considering the moving averages and the technical uh, indicators that i have been using and the option chart data is very crucial part so don't forget that as well so that's it for the today's video guys I, if you uh, enjoy my video if you like my video please help me by subscribing to my channel subscribe and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss any of my video updates and if you are in any whatsapp group make sure that you share my video to that particular group and as always if you have any doubts or any query you can always mention it in the comment section of the video Thank you.